Hey, welcome back to our short page TS config video. This time we're going to take a look how you can streamline the type of three backend for your editors. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. Today, we're going to take a short look at how you can streamline the backend forms for your editors to make their lives easier. So if we take a look at a regular content element that we're going to open up here, you can see that there's a lot of fields going on. And if we just hide the page tree, because we don't need this right now, you see there's a lot of fields and stuff. So for example, you have six different layouts for your headers, or you can set the alignment for your headers to so they're right uh, aligned. Um, we don't necessarily want that. And we're going to take a look at how that works. So if we get back to our YouTube demo that comes from the site uh, packagebuilder.com, we can open up the TCE forms.txt. And there's a couple of useful things we can do here. So for example, we can go to the TT content um, section, which reflects the content uh, database table. And we can take the field header position and set disable to one. So if we save this and then go into our backend and reload that frame, what's going to happen is that you can see the alignment field in the middle here is gone. So the tricky part is how do I know the specific names of each and every field? Well, there's a small tip that you can use. So say we want to remove the header date field for your editors. We can just inspect that field and select it right here. And what you can see down here, I hope I can zoom this in a bit. Yeah, that works. You can now see that this field is called TT content. The one in square brackets means it's the first content element ever created. It's the UID of the content element. And then you can see a value which is called date. And if we get back here and we basically say date dot disabled equals one and save it, a reload of this frame will now remove this input field. So the cool thing is that this works for all editors, including administrators. So this is a useful way to shrink down the amount of content that you can actually show to your editors. Next up, we're going to take a look what we can do with this lots and lots of fields uh, or selections that we have here. So if we get back to TT content and we set header layout, again, I just know that it's this one, we can go and say remove items and set this to three and five and six. And what this will do, if we reload this frame, you can see that it's now removing all those items you have at this place. Um, the good thing is, what is one, two, three, four, five, six? We can again just inspect this select box and you can see that there is Val option values right here. And these are basically the values that you're trying to remove. So what you can do if we get back, we can also just remove the 100, which is the hidden. The good thing though is you can basically say header layout dot add items. And we can set the value 303 for those who like electronic music equals hello header. And if we save this and reload, you can imagine what's happening. We now have a new header down here with the value. Again, we need to inspect this down here. You can see it now has the value 303. So you can add and remove things pretty, pretty quickly. So another cool thing you can do is you can actually rename labels in the backend. And if we take a look at why this might be necessary, you can see that here's a field called header. 
And not every editor is used to that. So say we want to rename this to something else. What we can do is, we, again, we go back to page TS config, select the header field, and set a label. And the good thing about labels is, whoops, this is copy pasted a bit too much. What we have here is you can see that we have a default label, which is content block headline, and we have a special label for the French translation, which means when the editor has set their backend to French. So if we save this and then reload, you can imagine what's happening. Now this field has a different label altogether. And always keep in mind that the page TS config that you're including is working for a certain page and all its subpages. So if you have multiple sites going on, you can have different page TS config for different parts of your page trees as well. So this is a super quick and fun one. There's more settings that you can find if you click onto the documentation in typo3.org, then select TCE form, and you can see the conf object. And here you can see all the settings you can set. I'm just going to cover like a tiny bit, but you'll get the idea. So stay tuned for the next fun one. This is when we should take a look at shared settings in page TS config. See you later.